Question 16. Does Delphi support the backend? Answer. Delphi Desktop does not directly support any backends except for local interbase and of course the BDE Bolin database engine itself. Delphi client slash server directly supports Oracle, Sybase, Inform 9 and Interbase. In both cases, you can use third-party ODBC drivers to connect to any system you want. Question 17. How do we get access to a database from Delphi? Answer. In general, you have to go to BD config on define an alias for the database you want to connect to. This allows you to avoid hard coding a directory path into your application. You just refer to the alias. Then, you create a minimum of three objects on the desktop, a query or table object that actually talks to the alias and gets some data, a data source object that links between the data and the controls, and at least one data aware control. If you've been trying for hours to get this to work, and no matter what you do you just don't see anything happening, try setting the active property on the table or query to true. This will open the database. I have seen many people get caught out by this the first time they try it. Question 18. Can I make calls to Delphi code from C or C++? Answer. Delphi can generate DLLs, which can be called from C, C++, Visual Basic, Power Builder, or anything else that understands standard Windows DLLs. There is an example of a database-capable DLL in the demos directory, as is the case in all Windows programming languages that I know of. DLLs are difficult to debug and will crash your system if they aren't quite right. Save your source code frequently. Question 19. Can I use DLLs developed in C or C++ from Delphi? Answer. Delphi is capable of making calls to and receiving callbacks from any standard Windows DLL. In addition, it is said to be possible, though rather tricky, to get Delphi to access classes within C++ DLLs. Bolin's www server has instructions on how to do this. I wasn't able to get it to work, but I think that's because I have weird DLLs. Question 20. What technical support do we get with Delphi? Answer. You get access to the up and running line, which will only answer questions related to installing Delphi and getting it to run on your machine. The long hold times that were common when Delphi was first released seem to have improved the current average seems to be about 5 minutes or so. In order to get what Bolland calls consultative tech support, i.e. someone with whom you can discuss reasons why a program is not working, you have to pay $2 for minute. You can call 900-555-1015 and have the charges put on your phone bill, or else 800-330-3372 and use a credit card. I have called twice, and they couldn't answer my question either time, however, they didn't charge me for the calls. Question 21. What if I do not have a CD-ROM drive? Answer. Bolin will ship Delphi on 3.5 inches floppy diskettes, but they charge extra for them. The resellers I have spoken to only carry the CD-ROM version because they don't want to have to stock two different items. I got my copy on CD, but the CD has directories on it called Disk 1 through Disk 15. So I assume it would be 15 diskettes if you got it that way. If you don't get the CD, you won't get the stuff they use to fill up space on the CD. Like an AVI file of an animated spinning Delphi logo. Question 22. What is the history of Delphi? Answer. Delphi is the descendant of Turbo Pascal, which was first released in 1983 for the CPM operating system. Turbo Pascal was ported to MS-DOS in early 1984. During the early history of the IBM PC, Turbo Pascal was arguably the most popular language for serious development work mostly because it was a real compiler, including the program editor and everything that cost $19.95 and would run on a 64K machine. Bolland introduced Turbo Pascal for Windows in 1990. The latest release of Bolland Pascal, as it is now called, not including Delphi, was version 7.0 in late 1992. Question 23. Can we write multi-user database applications in regular Delphi? Answer. Using regular, non-client slash server Delphi. I have developed an application that talks to a Sybase server using ODBC drivers. I didn't have to go to any serious trouble getting it to work, and data access speed is quite acceptable, better than it was under Visual Basic. Question 24. What is the difference between Delphi and Delphi client slash server? Answer. 
Delphi client slash server includes everything from Delphi desktop plus the following SQL Lynx 2.5 which includes native client drivers for Oracle, Sybase, Inform 9 and Interbase and includes full royalty free redistribution rights to those drivers and which costs $995 if bought separately. The local Interbase deployment kit $495 Report Smith slash SQL, $300. Team development support, interoperation with PVCS, obviously, this is no use to you if you don't own PVCS, not available separately. The visual query builder, which creates SQL statements for you, also not available separately. The VCL source code, which is available separately for $100. Question 25. How much disk space, memory, etc. do I need to run Delphi? Answer. The minimum installation of Delphi takes about 30 MB and the full install takes 80 MB. In order to run it well, you'll need a 486 with a minimum of 8 MB of RAM. Though I personally wouldn't try to run it in less than about 12 MB. I use a 486 TX266 at home and a Pentium 90 at work. And to be honest, there's not much difference between them Delphi's compiles are so fast that the CPU is really not a bottleneck. Question 26. What operating systems does Delphi support? Answer. The only version of Delphi that has been released is for Windows 3.1. There is no reason why it should not run correctly under systems that provide Windows 3.1 emulation, like OS slash 2 Warp. Windows NT, etc. Poland has announced plans for a 32-bit version to coincide with Windows 95. It is rumored that this might be a free upgrade to users of Delphi 1.0, but I wouldn't count on it. It is also known that Delphi 1.0 does not run correctly on the pre-release version of Windows 95. Applications built in Delphi are Windows 3.1, 16-bit applications. However, Boland has stated that existing Delphi applications will compile unmodified in 32-bit Delphi. Question 27. What is Delphi? Answer. Delphi is a product of Bolland International. It is a native code compiler that runs under Windows 3.1 and provides visual programming tools somewhat similar to those found in Microsoft Visual Basic 3.0. The underlying language is Object Pascal, which is an extension of the object-oriented Pascal found in Turbo slash Bolland Pascal starting with version 5.5. Question 28. What are the different types of pointers used in Delphi? Answer. There are typed pointers types that are being provided by Delphi like pchar and pextended. These points work with the incorporated and December functions and don't have any issue with the use of it. They can increment the pine 64 pointer type and add the size of int 64 bytes at the pointer address location. This way it allows the pointing of the pointer to point to the next memory location in the memory. There are generic pointers that are used to point to anything and very useful in case of dynamic memory allocation. Question 29. What are the different types of inheritance present in Delphi? Answer. Specialization inheritance. This is the type of inheritance in which the child class is the advanced version of the parent's class. Class inheritance provides a way for the child class to include the features and complete properties of the parent's class. It is used to extend the parent class and provide the left out features and methods. Abstract inheritance. This is the method that provides other skeleton methods which is being implemented by the child class. Interface. This is the way by which the class implements all the skeleton methods by using the interface itself. Question 30. What is the function of inheritance in Delphi? Answer. Inheritance is a method to inherit the properties of the parent's class by the child class. Inheritance is used in object-oriented language and it deals with the real-world objects and information. The data in these scenarios is treated as an object and it has the characteristics like size and the actions that are performed on them. In inheritance a class is dependent on another object. The child object inherits the properties of the parent's class and uses it. Child class has its own features but it also inherits the properties or the features from the parent's class. The example shows it. Type the ball equals class protected ball size byte. Published procedure kick power byte. Function gets speed byte constructor create size byte end t football equals class t ball private ball panels byte published constructor create size byte panels byte end 